hello students welcome to my class and in today's class i will be dealing with the reproduction in algae and this particular lecture deals with the very outline of the reproduction different modes of reproduction in algae with these objectives in mind at the end of this lecture we should be able to describe reproduction in general and we should be able to list reproductive methods in algae and we should associate modes of reproduction of algae to various classes based on fresh system of classification so with this objectives we will continue ourselves further reproduction is a basic character of the organisms to produce offsprings and it ensures existence of that species because reproduction can occur only in the areas where the organisms are adopted themselves and the choice of mode of reproduction has got evolutionary significance because all kind of organisms cannot undergo all different types of reproductive modes during the evolution so many events have taken place to select depending on the natural selection procedures and reproduction in general is evolutionary in nature how evolution has placed because over a period of time different types of internal and external factors have influenced the reproductive nature of that particular organism or that particular group of organisms in our case it is the algae now we will start our discussion with respect to the very important three modes of reproduction in algae namely vegetative reproduction asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction what is vegetative reproduction here the plant body separates due to the physical factors what kind of physical factors may work here may be some fish bites or any kind of organisms under water which are biting that particular uh, algae filament of the algae or maybe the water currents the increase and decrease in the uh, the speed of the water currents can uh, cause the separations or any kind of things and here in the picture we have depicted a fish cutting a uh, algal filament and asexual reproduction here the protoplast protoplast is the cellular contents of the algae will divide and once they divide and detach from the parent plant each portion will form a new plant so if you consider this particular diagram as a one single uh, cell what happens here it divides the into different types of protoplasts and different fragments and those divisions will later form new plants individual plants can be formed this is just a graphical representation just to understand the process in a proper manner next sexual reproduction here fusion of the gametes is the key character and the two gametes represented as these two oval shapes one can be termed as a male gamete and another can be termed as a female gamete and in a syngamy in a fertilization process what the, what takes place the two gametes will fuse each other to form a zygote and that particular zygote becomes a new plant now further we will understand the different modes three modes are very important that is the vegetative asexual and sexual within these types there are 
further more types are there and we will be dealing with those types with the heading outline of modes of reproduction in algae. And first we will deal with the vegetative reproduction and in vegetative reproduction is represented by four types that is fission, fragmentation, hormogon formation and tuber formations and in different types of organisms different classes of the algae will undergo different types of these kind of vegetative reproduction which we are going to deal in a detailed manner in forthcoming lectures. And when we come across the asexual reproduction there are eight very important types of the asexual mode of reproduction namely exospore formation endospore formation, nanospore formation, akinite formation, zoospore formation, aplanospore formation, hypnospore formation and tetraspore formations and about all these things we will be studying in detail. And when it comes to the sexual reproduction there are very three very important modes of reproduction namely isogamy, anisogamy and Ugami and different classes of algae will represent these examples. Now, let us analyze the well, let us associate these different modes of reproduction across the 11 classes of the algae and here I have represented some of the uh, key characters you can see the color codes sexual reproduction is depicted in pink and uh, sexual reproduction is depicted in blue and as uh, vegetative reproduction is represented in the orange and if any uh, kind of reproduction is absent it is represented in the black key and this particular chart you can see that the here I have explained sexual mode of reproduction in various classes and the extent of the box will represent which is the preferred mode. Yeah, so, for example, Chlorophyceae, Bacillariophyceae, Dinophyceae, Pheophyceae and Rhodophyceae, the most preferred mode of reproduction is sexual mode of reproduction than the other classes and most important feature is Mixophyceae that is the group of cyanobacteria are lacking the sexual mode of reproduction. And further when we analyze about the asexual mode of reproduction all the classes will show asexual mode of reproduction and you can also observe that most of the classes are preferring to undergo asexual mode of reproduction. At this point of time I want to clear one thing that a particular class or a particular organism can undergo multiple modes of reproduction. It need not be only sexually reproduced depending on the conditions, depending on the uh, environmental conditions and growth conditions the plants will prefer their mode of reproduction which we are going to deal in uh, extensive mode in further classes. But at this point of time please observe that the chlorophyceae, xanthophyceae, chrysophyceae, rhodophyceae and mixophyceae prefer a sexual mode of reproduction and a vegetative mode of reproduction is preferred by again almost 7 classes mixophyceae, euglenophyceae, cryptophyceae, chrysophyceae, xanthophyceae and chlorophyceae and summarizing these things we can see that various sexual asexual and vegetative modes of reproductions in preferences of that particular classes can be seen. So, with this we are learnt following outcomes in this particular lecture that is we are able to describe reproduction in general with the evolutionary basis and different types. And we were able to list reproductive methods in algae like vegetative, asexual and sexual modes with different forms and examples. And we were also able to associate modes of reproduction algae to various classes based on fresh system. And here one point we should observe that fresh classes with preferred mode of reproduction is the key character what we have studied. With this 
I will be coming with one more lecture to you and I hope it is useful to you and learn again and thank you.